the, how many autographs you signed so far today? Don't even keep count. <laughs> you know, I mean, this guy right here, this is the people's people right here, dude. Like, this dude, everywhere I've been with this guy, as soon as the fans come to him, he'll take a picture with everybody, literally. Tell me, what is it about that type of thing, about that fan interaction that, that you just like so much? I mean, that's the people that's going to invest in your brand. So, you know, you want you want to try to give every fan the time and day. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the people that's going to buy your merchandise. Uh, that's the people that's going to support you, you know, whenever you're doing anything, you know, whether it's a camp. Or, you know, you put, you know, a T-shirt, hats, you know, anything out, you know what I'm saying? They're going to want to have a piece of that brand. So, you know, you know, you just got to show love when, when, when it's time. Now, another thing that people don't know, Rico is nice in basketball. Real nice. Now, what? obviously you played it in high school and you played it a lot. What made you decide football? Why football? Uh, I mean, just, you know, wanting to do something new. You know, uh, football got a big platform. You know what I'm saying? Uh, millions and millions and millions of fans across, you know, the world and stuff like that. And, you know, what better situation to be playing for the, the hottest team in the, in, the, in the world with the Dallas Cowboys. So, you know, I mean, it's all about expanding your brand, expanding, you know, the person who you are. And, uh, you know, once I go out here and make these plays, you know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a big expansion to my brand. So Definitely, definitely. Now, um... I don't know, there's something about these Cowboy guys this season where in the off season these guys are just staying in great shape. Rico's another one of those guys, man. Rico just looks like you haven't got out of shape at all since the end of the season. When I saw you, I saw you at the end of the season, saw you in the middle of the summer, now I'm seeing you before training camp and you're looking like you're just ready to go again. Like, what are you doing this summer to stay in great shape like this? Uh, eat, eating good. And drinking a lot of water, man. And then uh, for the most part, you know, just never stop putting in the work. You know, um, you know, I feel like I got a lot to prove this year. So, you know, I'm coming out here with it on my mind each and every day. You know, playing with a chip on my shoulder and just adding, you know, firewood to my, my, my fire. You know what I'm saying? To keep it burning and, you know, know what I'm out here to do. Now, what are you, you had a good year last year. Um, what are some goals you're setting for yourself this season? What are some things you're looking at? The t obviously, there's a team goal, but there's individual things you want to achieve. What, what are you, what, what's your mindset going into training camp and then season starts? What, 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 what are you getting into? Uh, you know, really, I just want to be, you know, Mr. Reliable. You know what I'm saying? The dude who's going to come in and, you know, do everything right. You know what I'm saying? And make the plays when it's time to make the plays. You know, preferably in the red zone, but we want to make plays all over the field. You feel me? Whether it's in a blocking game, or whether it's, you know, going going over the top and, you know, making somebody pay for it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> now you definitely make people pay for yeah. it. Let me tell you one thing. Another thing people don't know, he got bars. <laughs> He's serious with it, too. It's just a natural gift he has, you know. So when, when your love for music, when did that show up? Uh, I mean, I've been rapping as long as I've been playing ball. So, uh, you know, just really, you know, listen, like I said, listening to a lot of people, like No Limit. Yeah. Uh, you know, listening to, you know, cash money when I was growing up and stuff, being from New Orleans and stuff, and, uh, you know, really just, you know, taking it one one rap at a time, you know, from the time I was 12 years old to now, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, it's a big improvement, and, you know, uh, you know, I feed off wordplay. You know, I like to I like to break a beat down and, you know, really, like, put my heart and soul on a beat. You yeah, feel me? He, so, he's just not a guy that's just going in there and mumbling. Nah, he's really nah. rapping. He's really rapping. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's one thing where you can rap, but it's another thing where you can make hits. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nice. I feel like I can make hits. You know what I'm saying? It's just about, you know, just having an opportunity to do so. Yeah. All right, this is my man Rico right here. Hey, yo, this is Rico Gaddis with the Dallas Cowboys. Shout out to Fanatic View. Y'all already know, man, from rebounds and touchdowns, Rick Avelli, we coming up. We making major moves in the 17.